hearts. The healing doesn't take place outside. It takes place inside. Your growth takes place inside. Happiness is basically is an inside job. That's why I am telling our life is from inside to out. It is not from outside to in. So, when Jesus came, this man already knelt before him. No leper is supposed to meet Jesus to that matter, any human beings. But he had the guts because he knew in Jesus, that's all. If I only kneel before him, enough. Rest, it is up to him. It's up to him. What he wants to make me is not my job. What I want to become is his job. What I should be is his job, not my job. So he knelt before him and said, Lord, it's up to you. If you want to heal me, if you heal me, there is a purpose. If you don't heal me, there may be a purpose. You do as you wish. Here I am. That needs guts. Outside world, what others think of me, as a leper, if I go near Jesus, what will people do to me? I don't care. I know Jesus is coming and my life is bloomed. My life is flowered. My life has found a new meaning. So he went, knelt down and said, If you wish, you touch me, heal me and then pass me. I will not allow you to go. Well, Jesus, as he usually does, he does five things. And these are the five ways for healing. For anyone who wants to receive healing, Jesus does these five things. Number one, Jesus, the Bible says, he came near him. Jesus came near the leper. Number two, he spoke to him. Yes, I wish to heal you, cleanse you. Number three, he stretched out his hands on him. He came near him. He spoke to him. He lay down his hands on him. As he was embracing him, the fourth the dirt of that man, the smell of that man, the thing that comes out of the wounds of that man, everything is transferred to the body of Jesus. As he embraced him, the dress of Jesus is accepting whatever that man has. His wounds, his smell, his dirt, everything become part of Jesus. <coughs> and that which is belonging to Jesus become parts of that man. Jesus' goodness, Jesus' mercy, Jesus' healing power, Jesus be accepting everyone as his children. Everything become parts of him. The moment he loses, the moment he receives that of Jesus in him, that of the world in him disappears. That of the physical flesh disappears. The sickness disappears. Fifth, Jesus lifts him up and tells him, go home. Your faith has saved you. Go home. He received moves with the hope of Jesus. Today the greatest healing that is needed for the humanity is hope. And that's what today's first reading. If you go through on the 14th verse it is written. 
they have lost the hope it is the hope that makes us to hear the voice of god yes jesus did the five things number 1 he came near him number 2 he spoke to him third he stretched out his hands on him fourth he transmitted his power his goodness his forgiveness his healing to that man and took away his sinfulness his dirt his sickness upon himself that what that's what happens to every individual who come in contact with jesus and be healed the lord lifts him up and says your faith has saved you live a life of hope i have healed you don't fall in sin again go home in peace if only we hear the voice of god we also will get these things stop looking at self stop holding on to self most of the tensions in life comes when we allow the self to rule us the self is the greatest enemy your flesh is greatest enemy it wants you it will never allow the spirit remember god is spirit remember the spirit will grow only when the flesh is dead remember the flesh will never allow the spirit to lead you to so you have to be aware of your the danger is within you unless you train yourself to hear the voice of god you can't calm down the noises only when you hear the voice of god you understand what he does in you and only in him you begin to understand the purpose of your life the meaning of your life my dear friends sangamam plus tv is god's gift for you for our times like comment share and subscribe god will do wonders in your life praise the lord